Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, the cheese balls have just been sitting in the water for a couple of minutes. Uh, we had a couple of girls scrimping, so we had to take a little break there. But um, as I'm pulling the cheese out, it's, it's, it's holding its shape, but it's still warm inside, and it'll flatten out if it sits on its plate too long. Come around, Dana. That TV is too long. That's okay. Come on. I don't think they can hear you. The TV. We're going to wrap it in plastic. And I'll pull out just a couple balls at a time. And the reason we do this is to keep help it keep its round shape. Because if you don't wrap it and you try to make a round ball that'll keep its shape, I think you run the risk of overstretching the curd and making the cheese too tough. So uh, if there's a way that professionals are doing it, I don't know. This is kind of how I do things. Um, but um, take a cheese ball, we're going to put the top side down, seam side up. In the other video I showed you to fold the corners, but this time we're going to fold it like that, okay? And I want to keep the, we're going to pinch the ball just a little bit there, see how soft it is? Um, and again, one more time here, okay? Now we're going to turn it over, squeeze here. I'm going to squeeze down this time. I showed a little different technique last time, but we're going to squeeze it down like this. Okay, I'm going to spin. This is the seam side up here. We're going to tie it. And we have a nice round mozzarella ball that will keep its shape. And we'll do a couple more here. Tear off a piece about, I don't know, 14 inches or so. See how these are starting to flatten already? So what happens if you don't wrap them, they'll flatten out. Okay, and I, and, and I want to pull this past the edge because I want the seam to, to end up over here. And uh, I don't want, that way when I sit the ball down like this, I don't want water leaking out of the edges there, okay? Bend it down like that, okay? Twist it just like a Tootsie Roll. Once you do a couple, you get the hang of it. And these are going to go into, um, they're going to get vacuum sealed and go straight into the freezer, okay? And that one I made a little bit more flat, but you can definitely make more of a ball shape. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over until we have um, 10 pounds of cheese, and that's what I like to do, 10 pounds of cheese. And that's it, okay? See you all next time.